The solution set of 4 to the x squared plus 4x equals 2 to the negative 6. So when you see problems like this, remember the solution set just means the values of x which make the equation true. So if it's a solution set and not just a solution, then that means there's more than one value of x that would make this true. So even if you had no idea how to do this, you could test the values in the answer choices and see which ones make it true, and that would be one way of doing this problem. Albeit inefficient, it would work. So um, whenever you have exponents, uh, you have a variable in the exponent, like we do here. We have x, you have 4 being raised to the power of x. There's usually two ways you can get through this. One is logs. So if you see an opportunity to use logarithms, that's one way. But the easier way is to see if you can get both terms on both sides of the equation to have the same base. And if you can do that, then you may find that it's quite a bit easier to solve. So here we have on the right side 2 to the negative 6. So could we express the left side as also having base 2? Well, what is 4? 4 is nothing more than 2 squared. So what if we were to rewrite the left side of this equation as 2 squared and then have that be raised to the power that it already is which is x squared plus 4x and then set that equal to 2 to the minus 6. So what happens over here well now we have a power to a power right this is equivalent to the kind of the simpler case suppose we had x to the a and it was being raised to the b well that would just be x to the ab when you have power to a power, you multiply the exponents. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to multiply 2, but we're going to multiply it by this whole quantity. Because this whole quantity out here, this x squared plus 4x, is the entire outer exponent. So this whole thing becomes 2 to the 2x squared plus 8x. That's the power that 2 is being raised to. And that's equal to the right side, which we have not changed, 2 raised to the negative 6. So now we can say if 2 raised to this whole thing is equal to 2 raised to negative 6, then those exponents must be equal because they're the same base. So whatever 2 is being raised to here is equal to whatever 2 is being raised to here. And now we actually have a fairly straightforward, I'm going to write it over here because there's more room, we have a fairly straightforward quadratic equation. 2x squared plus 8x equals negative 6. Now how do you solve a quadratic equation? Well you have to get everything on one side equal to 0. So we'll say 2x squared plus 8x and we're going to add that 6 over so plus 6 equals 0. And now all those coefficients are, div are divisible by 2, so we can divide everything by 2 on both sides. And it's okay to divide by constant numbers. If you have an opportunity to divide by a variable, then you run the risk of eliminating a potential solution. So if, you, if everything has x in it, you should factor the x out. But if you're dividing by a constant, that's okay. So we're going to divide everything by 2. x squared plus 4x plus 3 equals zero and that definitely won't eliminate any possible solutions so we're okay and then it's just a matter of factoring this is a standard factoring problem what multiplies to positive three and adds to four and it will be plus three and plus one right because three times one is three and three plus one is four so that should work and then to get the final solutions, we just have to set each of these factors equal to zero. And if we do that, we'll find out that x could equal negative 1 or it could equal negative 3. And that corresponds to answer choice number 3.